Hey friends and a welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Anne and in today's video I'll be playing with the Jack Nail Fold Collection. This is the third look I filmed, but this is the first video that goes live. So I already played three times with the palettes and I have to say I'm really liking them. I find them really easy to blend in my crease. Um, I find the shimmery shades to be really pigmented. So, so far I'm really liking it. So today I created this glamorous cut crease, which I feel like is my signature type of cut crease. Um, I'm going to do a bunch of looks with the palette. I already have two more coming, but I will be filming a lot more. In today's video, I'll be playing with this one, which has a lot of warm colors. It's called the Ring the Alarm. Also, I used two colors from the Armed and Gorgeous palette, but I'll be doing like a separate video with every palette that I only use that particular palette if that makes sense but today i'm using kind of two of them but yeah today i created this glamorous look so let's get started so the first thing i'm doing is priming my eyelids i'll be using the max soft ochre vein Vault, like always i'm applying this with a small kabuki brush from sigma beauty and i'm just going to blend this all over the eyelid this will just make sure that your eyeshadows will stay in place all day also it will get rid of any redness that you have on your eyelid then I'm going to apply some eyeshadow guards and this will leave me with a very sharp edge at the end of my eyelid and also it will pick up any fallout but I do have to say sometimes I still have fallout on my face whenever I use these. So today I'll be using this gorgeous palette from Jaclyn Hill but like I said in my intro I will be also using one of the other palettes. So I'm going to start with this gorgeous warm orangey brown color. And I'm blending this all over in my crease using a Sigma E40 brush. I have a collaboration brush kit together with Sigma Beauty, which I have linked down in the description bar. And this brush is included in the brush kit. So it's a limited edition. So if you want to get your hands on it, check out the link in the description. So I'm just going to blend this all over my crease back and forth until I find that there's like enough of this color in my crease. I think I went back in like two or three times because I really wanted my crease to be as warm as possible. So now I'm taking this black eyeshadow from a palette from the Balm Cosmetics. Um, the palette that I'm using today from Jaclyn Hill doesn't like contain a black eyeshadow. So if you're going to recreate this eye look, I think everyone owns like a palette or a single eyeshadow that is black. So just grab any black eyeshadow that you have at home. Just make sure that it's matte. And I'm going to use this to create a line like right in my crease. And this will be like the base for my cut crease that I'll be creating today. So when I created the line, I also went like on top of it with a little bit more to blend it out. Now I'm taking this brown shade and I'm going to use that with a Morphe M506 brush. And I'm going to blend this right on top of the line that I just created. Now I'm going back in with the shade Rush, which I used at the beginning for my crease. I'm just going to blend a little bit more of that with my E40 brush to make sure that everything looks well blended out. Then I'm taking the shade Secret with that same Morphe M506 brush. I'm blending this on top of that crease line as well, just to blend it out even more. Whenever I go in with a black eyeshadow, I always take like shades which are a little bit lighter to make the line of the black look less harsh. And I'm going back in a few times with this eyeshadow because I wanted it to be as intense as possible. I didn't kind of want it to blend out the black that it's like gone. I wanted it to be like as intense as possible since I'm doing quite a dramatic cut crease. Now I'm going in with some concealer and I'm going to apply this all over my eyelid. Applying a line like straight underneath that cut crease line I created. And this will kind of cut the crease which will make it look really sharp. And also the concealer you can use it as a base for the eyeshadows that you will apply later on. I know I already applied like concealer and stuff. Uh, I mean primer. But since there's like a lot of eyeshadow on my eyelid as well, this will like be a new base for the eyeshadows. So now I'm taking this other palette from Jaclyn Hill and Morphe from the Fold Collection and I'm taking this light color, which I'm going to press in the inner corner of my eye, which will really make it pop. 
Whenever I do a cut crease like this, I like to start with a light color and then build it up to darker. Now I'm taking this shade called Guilt Trip from that same palette and I'm going to apply this right next to where I just applied that light color and just pressing this on the eyelid again using a MAC 242 brush. This is a very gorgeous yellow golden type of color and I feel like that really made this whole eye look complete because I really wanted it to be like as golden as possible. Now I'm going back in with the Ring the Alarm eyeshadow palette and I'm taking this shade on camera and this shade is going in the middle part of the eyelid. Now I'm taking the shade Alert and I'm going to press this in the outer V area, trying to kind of blend it into the gorgeous golden eyeshadows on the eyelid. Uh, sometimes it can be quite hard to like blend mattes into shimmers, but with this I didn't have a problem with that, thankfully. So I'm just going to kind of make a transition from shimmery to mattes. So I'm taking this black shade again from the De Balm Cosmetics palette and blending that in the outer V area as well. Since I used this black eyeshadow in my crease, it's now really easy to kind of blend out the outer V and blend it upwards towards my crease since I already used that black eyeshadow over there. And then I'm going to remove the eyeshadow guard because I'm now finished with the eyeshadows on the eyelid. But I felt like something is missing, I kind of want to spice it up. So I went in with the MAC Mixing Medium and this Reflex Gold Glitter from MAC Cosmetics. I'm just going to apply a little bit of that all in the center of my eyelid, just to give it that extra glamorous pop. And this is not necessarily because I feel like the shades on its own are also already really pretty on the eyelid, but I just wanted to do something different and add a little bit of a sparkle. Now for my eyeliner, I'm going in with the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. I have a special discount code for everything from Sigma Beauty, which I have linked down in the description bar. And I'm going to create a simple line above the lash line. I'm not going to create a winged liner because I already created a sort of winged smoky effect at the outer V. And then I went on top of it with the NYX Matte Liquid Liner because I feel like with a gel eyeliner it's quite hard to go on top of glitter. So I wanted to go in with a liquid liner as well. Now I'm taking a black eyeshadow, pressing this underneath the lower lash line using a Sigma Flat Diviner Brush. And then blending this out with the Alert eyeshadow, which I also used a few times in my crease. And just blending this out back and forth. And I just wanted it to be like a orangey brown blown out smoked lower lash line effect if you know what I mean and I think the brush that I'm using is a pencil brush from Morphe not sure sometimes I use this one and sometimes the pencil brush from Dose of Colors now for my water line I'm taking this soft cold pencil which is called Carnot from the brand Suiva Cosmetics applying this in my water line this is like a nude type of eyeshadow pencil eyeshadow pencil eye pencil and I feel like this suits really well with all the brown colors I applied on the eyelid now taking the shade Fib again from the palette which I also used from the Fold Collection. I will put both of the names of the palettes in the description bar. But these are both from the Jekyll Nail Morphe Fold Collection. Then I'm applying a little bit of mascara and I applied my lashes off camera which are the snobby lashes from my own lash brand Anytude. So now that my eyes are done I'm going to finish off the rest of my face. I kind of want to go for like golden vibes. So I want to do a golden gloss, golden highlighter. I just want it to be like very golden glam. So first I'm going to start with my lips. I'm taking this lip pencil from NYX Cosmetics, which is in the shade London. This is a very gorgeous brownie nude type of lip pencil, which looks really familiar with um, Strip Down from MAC, which is like a lot more expensive. So if you're searching for a dupe, this is definitely a really nice one. So I'm going to apply this all around my lips as a base for the lip gloss that I'm going to apply later. Now on top of that, I'm going in with this golden lip gloss from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I haven't used this one yet. This one is called Freya, which is a very gorgeous, subtle type of golden lip gloss. So now that I have it on the lips, it looks way more like pinkish. 
Uh, if you look at the bottle, it looks really golden. So I didn't really expect it to be like more of a pinky rose gold. But I do really like it and I think uh, this maybe makes it more wearable. So now to contour my face, I'm taking this The Balm Cosmetic Bronzer in the shade Oscar. This has a very cool undertone, so I like to use it to uh, contour my cheekbones. If you're really pale, I think you can also use it as a bronzer, but I prefer to use this one to contour. Then to warm up my skin, I'm taking the Mineralized Skin Finish Powder from MAC Cosmetics in the shade Medium Deep. And I'm just going to take this fluffy brush from Morphe, which is the R7, and just blend it on top of it. So now comes the best part, applying highlighter. I'm taking this palette from Huda Beauty, which is the 3D Highlighter Palette in the shade pink sand edition this one has a very gorgeous uh, golden highlighter right here so i'm going to use that one to highlight and i am going to apply a lot because i want this to look to be super glam normally i don't apply like too much but today i want it to be blinding So I also want to add a little bit of this Trophy Wife, yes it's called Trophy Wife, yes, Trophy Wife, uh, Fenty Wife, Fenty Wife, <laughs> I want to apply a little bit of this Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife highlighter because it's super golden, have never used it before, so let's add a little bit on top of it. I know this is like a very intense color, so I'm just going to apply a very tiny amount. Whoa. This definitely gives it more of a golden sheen. It kind of goes more like towards the color of my background, like a sort of yellow type of undertone. Love it. And now to give my cheeks a little bit of color, I'm taking this Peaches Blush from MAC Cosmetics. I feel like a little bit of color is missing. So I'm going to apply a little bit on the apples of my cheeks. Not too much, just a little bit. So now for the last step, I'm going to use some setting spray using this towel to hide my hair. Looking really flattering. <laughs> and, the, and the setting spray I'm using is this Too Faced 3-in-1 Hangover Spray. And then here you have the end result. I really hope you guys enjoy watching this video. I really enjoy playing with the Fold Collection from Jekyll Hill and Morphe. I think so far the quality is really nice. I don't have any problems with blending. The shimmery shades are really nice. They just they are just really pigmented, so I don't have anything like bad to say. Um, but let me know in the comments if you want me to do more videos. So my goal is to do at least one look with every palette that comes in the Fold Collection. But if there's any specific palette in the Fold Collection that you want me to do more videos with, let me know in the comments and also let me know what you want to see. This will be really helpful. Like, do you want to see more cut creases or do you want to see more wearable looks? Just let me know in the comments, that would be really helpful. But yeah, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. This is really helpful for my YouTube channel. And hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye guys!